Thank you for tuning in to Upon the Rock broadcast. I'm your host, Pastor Lawrence Shakir. I believe the Word of God will build a godly foundation in the lives of people. There is more available information on our website. You can log on to ShakirMinistries.org. Now, let's go into today's message. Verse 28, Samuel said to him, the Lord has torn the kingdom of Israel from you today. Just like how you torn my robe, the Lord has torn this thing from you today. And he has given to someone else, someone who was better than you. It's almost like saying, if you're not going to be used, then God can find somebody else who can do it a whole lot better than you. You see, he was, he was merciful for you. But since you don't want to act right, he'll find somebody else. And actually, it can be somebody better than you. And so... It's an honor that God has given us these gifts. The best thing we can do is at least honor him by giving those gifts back to him. Okay. And so verse 29, and he said, and who is the glory of Israel, uh, who the glory of Israel will not lie, nor will change his mind for he is not a man that he should lie. If God places something on you, he didn't do that uh, and lie about it. Say, well, I'm giving it to you. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm going to give it to you. No, no I'm not. I've changed my mind. God is not, not like that. He gave it to you, but you missed your season. And now God has to go find somebody else because you missed the season that God wanted you to maximize that particular gift in. And I hope I'm speaking to somebody when it comes to this because so many people are trying to find where they're where they fit when you can just look inside of you and see your purpose and even if you have missed a window of opportunity for your life on on certain things god has grace he can still give you that extension like he did with the fig tree uh but you have to it's probably something that you have to go to god and ask for but he can open the seasons again because he's God. He can do that. Okay? Let's keep going real quick, if you don't mind. I'm going to give you another point. Is what are the areas that you're being disobedient in when it comes to producing fruit? I mean, are you eating your own fruit? Are you doing something that's only just benefiting yourself? Are you doing something that only benefits your friends, but it's not connected to the purpose of God? So are you in an area of disobedience when it comes to producing fruit that God wanted you to produce? Okay? Look at this. In the book of Luke, chapter 8, verse 14, the seed that fell among the thorns represent those who hear the message, but all too quickly, the message is crowded out by the cares and the riches of life and the, the pleasures of life. They never grow into maturity or produce their fruit. They never grow into its full potential because you're looking around at the cares, you're looking at how uh, how the world is, you're not focused on the kingdom, you're focused on the world. And so the Bible says these, this, this fruit that's inside of you, it did not bear the fruit and it didn't produce, it didn't come to maturity because you had your focus somewhere else. Yes, the gift is in you. Yes, it's there. It's still in seed form though. And that may be the reason why that fig tree was not producing because it was still focused, spiritually speaking, it was still focused on the world. It wasn't focused on its own purpose of, of, of trying to make this thing happen. And let me kind of just take that back. When you have a, a, a gift, you don't have to make it happen. It is natural for you. It, it, it God allowed it to be easy for you. It, I mean, it should come easy because that's something that God has already placed inside of you. So you, they, trees don't have to just sit there and try to produce fruits. All they have to do is just stay plugged in. All they have to do is just stay in, uh, you know, connected. And if they stay connected, they will produce the right fruit. And so what, is, what, what areas that are, are, are we being disobedient in when it comes to producing fruit? God has given us gifts. God has given us calls. God has given us all of these particular things. But we need to stay plugged in as well. And the Bible says that the, the riches of this world, the cares and the pleasures of life, they, the, the fruit never grow to maturity and they never produce its fruit. And so it's like we have to make sure that we're doing everything we can to produce this fruit. Otherwise, God will give you some kind of space. He'll give you some time to produce that fruit. But if, if it doesn't happen, however, then time is up. 
And so that's what I, when it talks about God is waiting on us, he, he's so excited. I mean, I can see him just uh, planting the tree and, and planting the fruits and, and saying, yes, I can't wait for this to happen because when this happens, I'm going to do this, 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 and that. And I got so many plans. I got so many ideas for this. And then he, he plants the tree. The tree grows up. It's, it's about time for the fruit to come. So he comes and checks and nothing is there. No, it's no, 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 no worry. He keeps checking. Nothing is there. It comes back a little bit. Nothing there. He keeps looking. Wait a minute. Now, by now, it should be something there. And it's still nothing there. And, 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 and God is waiting. And he's waiting. And he's waiting. And time is going by. And years are going by. And seasons are changing. He says, wait a minute. Now, he's waiting. And he's still waiting. And he'll give you some time to kind of get it right. And give you some time to kind of work with him. Because you can't produce this fruit on your, on your own. But but if you work with him, if you stay plugged in, the fruit will begin to come out. However, if you, if you don't if you don't know, if you don't recognize the seasons and the times, when that time is up, it's like something has to be done. He has to make some decisions. And you don't want God to have to make some particular decisions on that. The Bible talks about in Matthew chapter 3, verse 10, that the axe is already at the root of the trees the axe is already ready it's already laid up there it's almost like saying i'm not going to swing yet but i'm just going to lay the axe at the root right now and just sit it there and, and i'm gonna give it a little bit of time but i'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this axe right there he said the axe or is already at the root of the trees then he goes and says and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be torn down or cut down and thrown into the fire, he says. Every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. It will be thrown into waste because it's taken up space. I, I, Lord said, I needed this to be a reserve for something that I had a specific purpose for. I placed this person in this family, in this situation, in this in this circumstance, because I wanted fruit to come out of this. But they began to listen to the world and, and the cares began to choke the, the fruit. And I'm still waiting, but I can't wait forever. Because the season is changing. I have to get somebody else in me. I have no choice, but I have to get somebody else because the 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 season has already changed and it's still no fruit here. And again, that's a sad thing uh, for some people to experience, but it's reality. This is kind of the stuff that happens. The Bible also talks about in Revelation chapter 20, verse 12. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne and the books were open. Then he says, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to what was recorded in the books. So there's these books of, of it, you know, it doesn't really describe what's in the books, but it's almost like the records of what's going on, of the timing or the or the, uh, the different times where you had the opportunities to produce the fruit or 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 get things right or get things in line. And they, the Bible said the books were open, and the Bible says they were judged according to the books. So everything that was in the, those books, in those records, and in that, that time, they were judged according to that. And then it says there was another book called the Lamb's Book of Life. Of course, right now I'm talking about salvation. But it says that anyone who wasn't a uh, man who wasn't found in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. But notice how it says that they were judged according to the books. Everything that's going on right now is being recorded. Everything that you see, even when it comes to this broadcast, if somebody is listening to this and says, well, you know what, I'm still not going to do what, you know, what I, what I think that's inside of me, what, what God wants me to do, then the Bible talks about the books will be open and they will be judged according to the books. We all have to stand before God one day, all of us. And when they open the books, when it comes to me, I want to be able to say, I want it to be said that, you know, I, I, I done uh, as much as I can, I can't, I can't say that I've done everything because I'm human like you and I make mistakes as well, but I don't want that to be the majority of the books. And so 
I want it to be said, well done, good and faithful servant. You have done what I asked you to do. My job is just to do what he, what he called me to do. The gift is in me. Now I have to give that gift back to God. One of the reasons why I'm, I'm doing this is because that's the gift that's in me. And it's for your benefit, not for me. What good is it for me to teach myself all day long? But it's, it's for you. It's to build up the kingdom. And so when we are judged according to the books, I don't want it to be, I don't want to be one of the people that, that's cut down and thrown into the fire because I did not produce what was, uh, you know, what was called for me to produce. Last scripture. And this is out of the message translation, so it sounds a bit different, but it's Romans chapter 2. He says, you didn't think, did you, that just by pointing your finger at others, that you would distract God from seeing all of your misdoings and from coming down on you so hard? Or did you think that because he's such a nice God, uh, that he let you off the hook? Better think this one through from the beginning. God is kind, it says, but he is not soft. In kindness, he takes us firmly by the hand and leads us into a radical life-changing uh, life. -changing life. But look how it says that God is not weak. God knows how to execute judgment. Yes, he's all loving. Yes, he's kind. Yes, he's our father. But he also knows how to render justice. He also knows what's right and wrong. And so when he plays something inside of us and he's waiting on it, and it doesn't do what, what it's supposed to do. He knows how to make some decisions. He knows how to make the difficult decisions because he's God. So don't think that, oh, you know, the Lord understands. He's still going to just let me off the hook. Don't think so because God is, he wouldn't be God if he's not just. And so he's a just God and he's an everlasting loving God. But don't forget, he's a God of justice as well. And so he placed things inside of us for his purpose. And we have to, because we're children of God, we need to respond to that. And we need to be able to operate in that particular gift. And so sometimes it may be a little bit difficult for others. And sometimes it may be something that, you know, people just are having trouble trying to uh, really, you know, get in line with. But as long as you have breath inside of you, as long as today is called today, you have another chance to get this thing right. You have another chance to produce the right fruit, the, the, the type of fruit that God is looking for, and he will give you the space. If you would just work with him, God will work with you. And so as God is waiting on you, don't waste God's time. Don't waste your time either because it's not going to end up good for, for you either if you just waste your time. You will live a life of regret. And so that's why I'm sitting this broadcast just to kind of help encourage you to, to find the gift inside of you and start operating in it because God is waiting on this particular uh, gift to come out so he can bless the world and bless the kingdom and bless your life. And so it's not for vain, but it's all for his glory. Okay? So thank you so much for tuning into this broadcast. I hope to see you next time. Please share this with somebody else uh, or, or also email me. Let me know what you think about this broadcast. Okay? Talk to you later. Love you. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Upon the Rock broadcast. If this message has been a blessing, you can help us spread the gospel by sharing this message with your friends. Also, if you're online, please be sure to contact me either through our website at shakirministries.org or through social media. I would love to hear from you. Together, we can build a godly foundation in the lives of people. Until next time, please know that I'm praying for you and I hope to see you on our next broadcast.